Even Her Majesty knows the famous story of the day when Sidney Tate lost his trousers. <laughs> Sydney, your fame has always gone before you, and so it should, because you've always been a shining example to every firefighter in the brigade. Through your honesty, your dignity, your compassion, and your downright professionalism. Yeah. Oh, I see the looks in your faces, especially some of you younger ones. Oh, yes, your governor's got up to some tricks in his time. I could tell you more. But I'll spare his blushes. There's little new in this world, but some things are irreplaceable. One of them is Station Officer Tate. You and I are privileged to have known him. Ladies and gentlemen, the Governor. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. I, I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank Christ we changed helmets. <laughs> um, I'd like to thank Mr. Bulstrode for his few kind words. You know, sir, I've always taught my young firefighters to respect their senior officers, but you must forgive me if tonight I warn them not to believe every word you say. <laughs> I've served in the brigade a long time. It's been the best part of my life, and I'm sad to be leaving it. I've worked with lots of you down the years. Frank there at Romford. Wally and Bert from my old watch at Ilford. Some of the finest men anybody could hope to meet. I couldn't have hoped for a better watch to finish my time with than Blue Watch at Blackwall. I'll always remember you and be proud of you. <laughs> very proud of you. I'm very happy. Thank you. Why was he born so beautiful? Why was he born at all? He's no bloody use to anyone. He's no bloody use. Oh, you didn't think you'd get away without saying goodbye to me, did you? Right, come on, Gov. Hi, oh, Joseph. Very good, make it. Right. Now, we've had a speech, ladies and gentlemen. Order, please, ladies and gentlemen. Order, order. How about a little cabaret? Oh, yeah. Entertainment. Here we go, everybody. Especially for the lads of Blue Watch. Recorded forever in the halls of fame. Yeah.